Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a summer Madewell try-on haul and I'm gonna be showing you guys 15 pieces. We've got a lot to go through. And if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that I am Madewell obsessed. I have loved the brand since college and then I've been working with Madewell for the past few years. So I'm working with them again this year for a couple of months on some sponsored Instagram posts, but you guys know that I love sharing everything that I get from the brand here on my YouTube channel so you can get a better idea idea of the fit of the material and just see it in motion so if you're new here I am five foot two just for reference so keep that in mind for sizing and fit and then I'll have everything linked down below in the description box if you want to check it out along with the sizes that I ordered but we're gonna go ahead and get into it instead of my usual hold up the piece try it on style of video we're just gonna jump right into the try on so this is the first top and I love the fit of it I went ahead and I size down in this top. I'm usually between an extra small and an extra extra small and I find with Madewell it's best for me if I size down. So I size down in this and I think it is a really great kind of slouchy fit. The sleeves aren't too long on me which is really nice. It is definitely a longer shirt so you could actually wear it as a swimsuit cover up. I've got it tucked in in the front. You can see the full length here. It definitely covers the booty so you can wear it like I said over a swimsuit but I kind of like it with the relaxed front tuck and I've got on the perfect jean short from Madewell as well. I also have on a new pair of sandals that are part of this haul. They are so cute guys. I want to show you them up close because the material of these is so adorable and I feel like this is actually a really unique style of sandal. I love that you've got the canvas, the leather, and the espadrille style at the bottom. So really, really cute. You definitely will want to break these in before you wear them all day long because they are leather. They're a little bit stiff. I also would say that they run a little bit narrow so you might consider sizing up half a size. I feel like they fit for my foot but I would say that I have a average to narrow foot. Really, really cute. I just love this style. I also love that this is like a cool tone, darker brown. It just feels very unique to me instead of their like normal kind of orangey browns that they usually carry. So I just thought these were really different and they definitely caught my eye on the website. But as soon as I put these shoes on, I could tell that they ran a little bit like tight. But after already wearing them for a few minutes, I feel like they will break in. You just need to give them time. So I would definitely suggest ordering these shoes ahead of time if you're planning on taking them for like a trip you don't want to be stuck with them being uncomfortable but as soon as they break in I feel like they're gonna be so cute and another thing that I got that's part of this haul is the transport tote in the medium size this is in the woven leather and one thing that I noticed about this one is that it's a little bit darker than the small like mini tote because I have that one I've had that one for a couple of years now this one is a little bit of a deeper brown but it almost matches the shoes like perfectly so I don't know if this is just this specific bag or if they all run a little bit darker than the smaller transport totes but this one has a crossbody strap so you can wear it on your shoulder like this this would be the perfect bag to take on a trip like I said you could throw a camera in here have a light shirt to throw over a tank you could also you know carry it as a work bag Put a smaller laptop in here an iPad stuff like that. So I love that you can wear it on your shoulder or as a crossbody. And I have a couple of their like large transport totes and then I have the mini one like I said. I'm actually going to grab the mini one over here on my shelf because I want to show you guys the difference. Okay so like I said I've had this mini one for quite a while and I, I love this one because it has this open top here and then it fits my camera and everything I need for the day. But you can see it's like a lot smaller than the medium. So this is the size difference between the medium the small and then if you've been in a Madewell store you're probably familiar with the large tote which is just like a very very big tote that can fit a 15 inch laptop or a 16 inch this one would definitely fit a smaller laptop but it's not necessarily like a work bag I would say this is more of like a larger purse you could throw like a book in here a water bottle that kind of thing but this is the size difference 
and you can see this one's like a little bit of a deeper, more rich brown, whereas this one's just a little bit lighter. I think they're both really beautiful. And that's definitely what you get with leather is like not all leather is gonna be the exact same throughout the entire run because leather has different variations in color and warmth. So that's just the difference. Same hardware, it's this antique brass hardware here. I love carrying this little one with me during the day, but I feel like this one is perfect to throw a water bottle in or have on a trip. So really adorable. It really matches everything. They also have it, I believe, in a very pale sage green, which was really pretty. So, love this. Okay, you guys know I am so obsessed with any type of button-down situation and this top is so cute. I love the way that it fits. It's actually not that long, so I've got it tucked in the front, but really it kind of hits right at my belly button. So there's not a ton of fabric that needs to be tucked in, but I really love the sleeve length, the collar on it is so cute and it's this beautiful green knit, which is just like, oh, it's so good. And I love the way that it looks with a pair of denim shorts and a sandal. You could obviously wear it with like white jeans and kind of dress it up, but I really love this style of top. I just think it's so cute and it's, it's so made well. <laughs> so I did get one swimsuit and I have been eyeing this one for a while and it is so cute in person, guys. If you like a one piece or you like a little bit more coverage, I would highly recommend this. I think the pattern is so gorgeous and I love all the colors in it. It's got these really great ties in the front and then it's actually not too cheeky, which is shocking these days because I feel like a lot of swimsuits are very, very cheeky. I feel like you get a really decent amount of coverage without it being, you know, like a grandma style swimsuit. So I am loving this so much. I also love that it doesn't cut up super high here as well. Like I like that we've got, got it all covered. I'm feeling really cute in this, which I don't feel that cute in most swimsuits, but I really, really like this. And I just think the front of it is so adorable. Like the little scoop neck style here with the two different ties. It's got a low back here, which is really pretty. The straps are slightly adjustable. You can adjust them about like one inch I would say so you can like bring them up a couple different notches. I've got them on the shortest right now. Also I don't think I sized down in this. I'll confirm the sizing in the description box but I have found with their swimsuits I'm normally true to size on their swimsuits so I don't normally size down in those but I just think it fits so well. It is so cute. I just love when you can find a one piece that is also just really really adorable and even though you're like a little bit more modest you still feel really cute, so. I love this, this is so adorable. Also, last thing, I will note, there is no padding in this, so if you need a swimsuit with padding, this is not the one for you. I am fine with it. It has a ton of different patterns on the print, so I don't feel like it's a huge deal that there's no padding, but I just wanted you guys to know that in case you needed padding in your swimsuit. So these shorts are brand new to me. I've never owned a pair of their mom jean shorts, and I really love the length of them. They're so comfortable. They actually kind of like come out at the hips just the slightest bit so they're not tight anywhere, but they hug the waist really nicely. I feel like they're super flattering. I definitely like need to steam them because they got pretty wrinkly in the packaging, but I feel like they are such a flattering length and shape. I also love this color. For somebody who has tons of denim shorts, it's fun to get a pair of shorts that are just very different than anything that I have in my wardrobe. So I love that these come in colors. Also, you guys know I'm very into sage green. So these are perfect. And then this top is a fabric that I feel like I've never felt from Madewell before, but I am obsessed as soon as I like put this on, I was like, oh my gosh, I want this in a bunch of different colors because it is such a soft and like silky feeling fabric, even though I'm pretty sure it's cotton, it just feels like very smooth, but I like that it's also ribbed so you have some texture in it. I love this color top, especially with these shorts. I feel like this is such a cute summer outfit and you could throw it on with like a sneaker and wear it super casually for the day but really cute. I love a knit tank and 
and this one is so cute. I would highly recommend sizing down just because it is a little bit of a bulkier top. So if you want it to fit a little bit more fitted, I would recommend sizing down, but I love the stripes on it and the button detail. The fabric of this is so, so nice. It's this really kind of chunky, beautiful knit. And I love the stripe pattern here with the ribbing that's outlining the neckline and the buttons. I just, this so much. I think it looks so good with blue denim shorts. Again, I just got it on with the same shoes. You could throw it on with the brown bag as well. And just a really cute top. Again, obviously you could wear this with white jeans and I think that would be such a cute dinner look as well, but super adorable. Okay, next up is this cardigan tank set. And what's fun about this is that you can obviously break it up. So you can wear just the tank, which is a spaghetti strap tank, or you can throw the fitted cardigan over it and wear it open like this or you could even button the cardigan and then tuck it into whatever bottoms you have on and wear it as a top so i feel like this is very versatile you can obviously wear it a bunch of different ways mix and match also i think it comes in quite a few colors so it feels like a really kind of good staple piece to have and then i've just got it paired same denim shorts again you could definitely wear it with white denim black denim i've got it on with a different pair of shoes these are a little heel which are so adorable they are a woven style heel a little bit of a lighter brown than the medium transport tote that i have what's nice about them is they have these little grips on the bottom so they're actually super comfortable to wear because this is like a rubber sole so a very practical shoe to have if you're like walking around but you still want to wear a heel i love the woven leather obviously for summer i feel like i can't get enough of any type of woven leather texture but i love this color it's this beautiful pale sage green and i don't know i've never really worn like a fitted cardigan like this before but i really like it and i think it's super cute this top is actually the same fit and style as the green top that I tried on earlier. It's got the collar, the buttons, but instead it's in a really fun, colorful stripe pattern, which I just think is so cute and different for summer, especially as somebody who does like to stick to neutrals. This is a very fun piece for me. You can see the texture up close and all of the different colors that this top has. It's so pretty. I love that. It's a more muted palette, even though there's a bunch of colors, it's still very like toned down. So I think it's really cute with blue denim shorts, but it's the same style and fit as the other top, which I just love. So this next top is definitely me in a top. It's actually kind of similar in the style and fit of the one that I was wearing in the beginning of this video, but it's a different pattern. I love these types of tops that just lay very draped. This one and the one that I was wearing at the beginning of the video, I think are the same material as well. It's very, very lightweight, very loose, very breathable, which is perfect because it's going to be 100 degrees this week here in Nashville. So I am pumped to have something like this that is just very airy but i love any type of yellow top because i feel like it looks so good with blue denim i feel like it just complements it really well so this top probably gonna get worn a lot because it's an easy piece to throw on the pattern is so delicate and pretty which i just love so it's kind of similar to the one i was wearing but also very very different this next tank is a really fun square neck piece i love anything that has kind of like that wider neckline you can see your collarbone i think it's really pretty and flattering and this one is fun because it's got the buttons on the front obviously you guys know i'm a huge fan of buttons on the front but i love the muted color palette of this one also even though it's colorful and fun it's still that like madewell color palette which is always like slightly muted which i just love so this tank obviously looks so good with denim shorts you could throw a sneaker on with it a little basket bag or some kind of sling bag i feel like would be great you can wear it all day i have got it on with some sticky boobs which works great with a square neckline i think you could probably get away with some kind of like scoop neck bra but i feel great with sticky boob uh, boobs i feel great with just sticky boobs on i think because there's enough texture colors all that good stuff there's ribbing in the shirt itself i feel like you can get away with wearing just like 
little sticky boobs, but I love the length of it, the fit of it. I would recommend sizing down if you want it to be a little bit more fitted like I have it. And this is what the fabric looks like up close. You can see all the different colors and then it's got some really nice ribbing in the actual material itself. But that is everything from this Madewell haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was from this haul. Like I mentioned, everything will be linked down below in the description box along with the sizes that I got. If you are new here on my channel and you want to stick around for some more videos, I am constantly doing Madewell hauls. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you back and I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys. <laughs>